<laughs> Another win for the greatest spy on Earth. Lana, win toast. Donation to the environmental fund didn't hurt. Arguably, it did most of the work. Buzz. I notice you say buzz, but we hired you for job offers. Don't worry. You are top of mind for many stakeholders. You just need a... I'm sorry. Saving an entire plane from hijackers isn't splashy. Buzz is also saying that was like 80... 85 percent in action. That last 15 percent was all me. Ugh, sorry. All me with an assist from- Listen, what is your parachute? <laughs> oh boy, if my head wasn't attached. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Guys, I found something amazing. Something about ongoing service for high sensitivity battery replacement in London. Oh, goodness. I haven't thought about that in years. So, you are gonna- Shh, I'm remembering. The hoy. Why do you think we want it in here so bad? Now give me them deets. Fine. The man is Cornelius Varma, great grand nephew of the Indian Maharani of Travancore. He had the physique of a Tony Adonis and the mother. We get it. I'm referring to the way he placed bugs. Jesus, I don't need to know what you call it. Wait. Why were you bugging the British? It was a different time. 1812. Oh. Not flying England to change a battery for 20 bucks. It's pounds, Lana. You know what I meant. And I know. Cheesy Pete, I just checked the battery bank account. With interest, it's currently holding over a million. Who, if need be, can call on an important ally. And who's that, he said, dread creeping into his voice. Was the cat suit really necessary? For me? No. It's more for the public. Oh, still got it. Thank you, Sterling. And by it, I mean this image burned into my retinas till the end of time. Lucky boy. I told you or you thought I told you? Oh, just leave them by the door. Right. My weeds can make up for what he said to me. He is more mistaken than... You were for marrying him? Since it was powered down, there's a good chance it hasn't been picked up by sweeps. I don't know if we'll have time for that. Oh, uh, not what it means. Through the second story with... Fancy English ladies! My hat is huge! You know, we British invented giant hats as a way to temper an overly aggressive... Post ingress. Same thing. It's not. Krieger will jam the alarm system. Not. And you'll be happy to know there's still a dead match. I have anything bigger? Dude. This is ancient tech. It doesn't interface with anything modern. And the giant flashing light? Good. Now, rub the center of my breasts to reactivate. What? Sorry. The breasts. I'm terrified of crossing a societal town. Case in point. I've got someone on approach. He's looking right at me. Now he's... No, 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 no. Bad news. What is it? My jamming of the alarm system... Straight. Darling, did you have to look straight on? Like his profile's any better. <laughs> if the U.S. government is involved, it would mark the first hostile exchange between the... Okay, team, no need to panic. Let's just take stock of where... Uh, three Musketeers would pay a bounty of 100 grand to send you to Mars. Boom. Score. Is no one even gonna snicker at that? Oh. I also put a receiver in the tracker so it can record data from the bug. So we just bugged the British Prime Minister? Idiot one and idiot two as lookouts. Mummy wants us to go in an outing. Really professional outfit. <gasps> the gentleman's complimented our hats. Well, this won't get over. I have a plan for you after all. <laughs> Suitcase napper? What is he, a nursery rhyme villain? Or whoever. Who do you think he is? And I have time to nap the napper. See, Lana? See how stupid that sounds? Who? We Brits spike our tea with opium. That's why it's called... These wretched servants come out of nowhere. I think Mother's right about cutting their salaries. Whatever. It can't be that hard to spot a black guy in an... Meaning he hopped in a cab while you weren't looking? While you weren't looking? I was looking. Uh, John... Blood would kill anything it came in contact with. Ouch. But point taken. What's with all these overly decorative pests? Wait. We're meeting Cornelius Farmer. The beefcake from 50 years ago? The ultimate agent. He'll fix your mess and then maybe make a mess out of it. Of you to come. I think I need to talk to your son. It's me! Your beefcake turned into beef jerky. I'll eat a gumdrop. Heavens to Murgatroyd, what a frightful thought. 
phone. <sighs> Pam's not answering. More bad news. The shop wouldn't exchange the keychain you broke. Oh, fat love. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. It's actually a porn shoot. Bugger me. And decaffeinated tea. Good for the sciatica. Cornelius, where... You want my advice? Make a deal with IIA. Pocket a few quid for bug... <laughs> it's less dreadful than you may think. We're both getting old, Puppet. And they can prime my agency from my dead grenade holding found the powerful. No one could afford not to be afraid of us. And in that way, we were truly free. Mm. <laughs> you? And I never intend to. Very well, then. I'll contact my people to see if we can dig up anything on your IIA agent. But, Matt, I'd like you to do something for me in return. Fine. But keep it over the shirt. That's your example? Then there was the time you made me not sleep with that diplomat's wife. And the time you made me not sleep with that czar's wife. But... These are examples of you being a dick. And frankly, Lana, you responded poorly. Well, what about the time in Sicily when we got pegged as agents and I roundhouse kicked a bouncer in the face? How is that? What? That's like two miles away. How is he moving so fast? On the plus side, it looks like Cher... Uh, I know about the magic books I does. Damn, you're heavy for a skinny girl. Damn. Yeah, I, I I don't see anybody. How can that be? And how is he covering ground so fast? Ah. Through the sacred escape tunnels in the British sewers. Ugh. Oh, don't you Americans know anything? Huh, does she know what she's talking about? I truly... Bermuda! Ha! Not sure the sewer is transatlantic. No, my proof that I'm... Because you never did it again. And now you've depressed me by making me remember actively sucking the fun... And that's the last active sucking you'll ever get. Phrasing. Obviously! Okay, to catch this guy, I say we surface to the street, hijack a speedboat, and joy... See? No fun. Oh, God. Of course this happens when I'm in a van without bazookas. Take a left at the corner. There's an open alley we can fit... Since when are you afraid of a little danger? We'll need a buyer. Wait, why would he get on a Ferris wheel? Wow, they're really not getting this fun thing. Uh and then avoid them! Oh, oops. Next time. Remember that time we were scouting that iron ore mine in Madagascar and you told me not to swallow ferromagnetic flakes? Archer, it's not the time. Always the time, Lana. Because if I had listened to you... You wouldn't have projectile vomited chunks that stuck to the break room fridge so they had to throw the whole thing away. I am the magnet master. North and south polarities are mine to command. I would say not great. And I would say shut up. <laughs> I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing, but... Destructive Empire. Its violent, cannibalistic success is basically the reason the world will end in... Now that's splashy. Wait, wait, wait. What about, uh, how's that for a... Whoops. I could have died. How'd you know I'd react in time? I didn't. Krieger, what's the chatter in Parliament? They're blaming the incident on the IIA. Cornelius gave them a photo of an employee who looks exactly like Cyril. Oh, who's the unlucky... But...